and Harry come to the stage? Yeah. New York City. <laughs> Harry is a longtime New York City activist for human rights and mental health as as well as for a more humane and holistic health system for all. Harry is a poet, speaker, runner, health enthusiast, teacher, and employee of Gary Null and Associates in Manhattan. Harry has helped start and currently coordinates the Mind Freedom New York City affiliate, which I want to join. <laughs> Hi. You know, I've heard a lot of really great different components and perspectives and all of them are correct. It reminds me of the uh, blind men and the elephant, how one feels a trunk and he's a tree, the other feels a tail, it's a snake, the other feels a body, it's a wall, etc. They all argue with each other, unfortunately, because they were all right. They just happened to have came in from different angles on the same thing. Um, so I'm going to give uh, another uh, additional angle to everything. Uh, make a few comments on all of this. One, I think that I had done a uh, presentation at Psych Out last uh, year in the fall, and the topic was replacing the um, medical model of psychiatry and psychology with a coaching model of psychology. Uh, to uh, I hear people having all these, you know, thinking about uh, their, their labels and things like that. What I'm going to do is self-empowering now. First of all, you, uh, these labels are, are not, have no re relationship to anything in reality. They're not labeling anything in actuality. Back in the 80s, they said that homosexuals was a disease for two years. Those people, those gay activists, came out with such activism that psychiatry all over the world was afraid they would be damaged by that. They pulled back and said, of course, that's not a disease. And, and they've stuck by that. Then they turned to children. Well, what child's going to start a, a, an activist movement against being told they have oppositional defiance disorder? What is that for? Teacher, I disagree with you, we're reading a book, I'm a first grader or something different, or, or, or what is it? Um, so they, they come out and they take all of these different names and now they put them to where they're not going to get an activistic response at the level of gay activists. And they're not going to feel threatened that the whole field might be taken apart by that kind of response so they can stick with the things that they tell children they are. You, we're all capable of every emotion and possible. Uh, anger, sorrow, happiness, whatever. Emotions are part of our potential. We have the right to exhibit them. There's nothing wrong with choosing your emotions and being emotional in one way or another. These are not diseases. Uh, so I just want you to empower yourself. Tell people who are are confused or, 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 or want help with something. See a friend, see uh, or look into yourself, read a book, don't go to psychiatry, psychology, it's dangerous. Tell them that, you're empowered to do that. Tell them they might call you a name that has a stigma. They'll, and they might give you drugs against your will. Sure, people should have the right to do what they want in terms of taking drugs and things like that, but they have the right to an informed opinion, etc. The last thing I want to say is this. If we want to change some of the indoctr indoctrinated people visiting the APA conference now, give them a reference to something like Robert Whitaker's book, Anatomy of an Epidemic, because if any of them really read that book, they will question their indoctrination, whether they're currently a student, graduated, or are or, or, or recently uh, started a, their new occupation. That's my point. Is you're self-empowered, and please don't start considering or worrying about what other people say about a label. Believe in yourself and know that these labels. Are, are made by a callous, among other things, a callous business 
where anything that it could sell in terms of toxins that it calls medicines is, um, is, is all right uh, as if the huge profits of make trillions of dollars uh, make that so. I don't agree with that. Thank you. Thank you so much, Harry.